Last week on Scalpels of Desire. Ruthless assistant head Dr. Fiona Ferrunco and her partner in crime, Crooked Sammy Trout, administrator of St. Jeopardy's Hospital, were running a lucrative racket selling body organs stolen from the hospital. They were forced to send their horrible hitman, Igor, the psychopathic morgue attendant, to kill head Dr. Tweak because he found out about their dirty deeds. The great Jim Love, the greatest doctor in the world, arrived as new head doctor and was promptly handed his first challenge. Could it be that Dr. Love's long-lost identical twin was now nearer than he thought? Sexy receptionist Rosie Dawn fell in love yet again. If head nurse Virtue, the mysterious Eastern European with a heart of gold, is such a saint, why was such a sleazy stranger asking disturbing questions about her? This program is brought to you by Rent in Oregon. New in town? Need a kidney for a few days? Rent a new one with us and party on! This week's special offer, rent a liver and get a free digestive system. Don't let your bladder look like this. Rent an organ, the modern way to live. Read all about it! Read all about it! Scalpels of Desire just starting! <laughs> I have no time for hellos. I have to look after my sick patients. Oh, well, goodbye. Oh, I have time for goodbyes. Uh, oh, messenger boy, could you please take this message for me? Oh, good morning, Dr. Good Clean. Good morning, Miss Don. This is for you. Oh, thank you. It smells wonderful. Bye now. Good morning, Miss Dawn. Oh, good morning, Mr. Trout. Oh, you're male. And you're female. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Just my little, little joke. Oh, I say, that is very good news. <laughs> See you around. Very round. <laughs> Men. Is it? Get out of my way! Can't you see I'm a doctor? Mr. Trout? Oh! <laughs> Stop this immediately! <laughs> Kindly remove your hand from my gluteus maximus! Oh! <laughs> and what is that silly hat you're wearing? We are celebrating, boss! Oh, really? What do you mean? Well. We have just received, we have just received the coroner's report concerning Dr. Tweak's unfortunate demise. Oh, and what's the verdict? Suicide! <sighs> so we're in the clear. <laughs> You're yes. right. That does call for a celebration. Oh, all oh, right. Yeah, <laughs> well, this means we're... We're back in business. And now we can start... We can start sending body parts again and... Making lots of lovely money. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Here's Dr. Jim Love. He's the new head surgeon. They say he's the greatest surgeon in the world. Hello, hello, hello. What have we here? You don't need these. Give those to me. You can walk. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Love. Storm, how are you? <laughs> oh, Dr. Love, this letter came for you. For me? Yes. Oh, thank you very much. Last. Is there something wrong? Still no news of my long-lost identical twin brother, who was kidnapped as a child 44 years ago. <laughs> Still enough about me. 
Rosie, stick out your tongue. <laughs> As I suspected, tongue-itis. <laughs> Don't put that back in your mouth for five minutes. <sighs> yes, how do you feel now? I feel fine. <laughs> Rosie, your brave smile doesn't fool me. I know all about you. I know that you quit a brilliant career in medical school so that you could come here to work to pay for your little blind, crippled, orphaned, poverty-stricken brother's operation. Oh, Dr. Wolf, I don't know how to discover this, but absolutely nobody must know. Promise? Yes, your secret is absolutely safe with me. Bye-bye, <laughs> Rosie. <clears throat> Read all about it! Rosie gone quit medical school to work here so that you could pay for a little blind, crippled, orphaned, poverty-stricken brother's operation! Is that how one behaves in a hospital? I saw that. I want to see the doctor. Doctor is not here yet. Anyway, there is not much point, dear. You are probably dying today. <laughs> Thank you, Knuts. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Dr. Love. Well, that's special. How are you this morning? I am fine, thank you. I just wanted to thank you very much for finding that gallbladder in the operation yesterday. Who'd have thought of looking under the fridge? Huh. <laughs> it's really nothing, Doctor, and I thought you were wonderful with those hemorrhoids. Oh, thank you, gosh. Did you really think so? Yes. Honestly? Yes, oh, Thank you so much. How nice of you. <laughs> I thought my stitching was a bit off, you know. <laughs> I probably left something up as well. <laughs> Still doesn't matter. So, how, how are the patients this morning? I'm afraid we lost two in the night. Oh, dear. Have you looked for them? No, I mean they are... Sorry? They are... They are... Oh, the D word. Yes, Doctor. Don't take it personally. There's a lot of it about. Yes, Doctor. We'll get you two more. Thank you, Doctor. Nurse? Yes, Doctor? What's that? Isn't it your finger? No, that bed. I think he's the D word. <gasps> oh, my God. Well, I told him. This is Mr. Paget. Ah, just how are we today? Well, doctor, it hurts me in two places. So don't go to those places. <laughs> oh. Good morning, Mr. Marks. Morning, doctor. I understand that you have Benson's disease. And I, I must tell you that Benson wants it back. Yes, doctor. Good chap. We'll say no more about it. Thank you. This is Mr. Pecker. He's not feeling very happy. Maybe you can cheer him up a bit. Right. Why don't I? What seems to be the problem, old man? You can tell me. Well, Dr. Love, this isn't at all what I expected. Yes, well, I must say, I was quite surprised when you asked to be castrated. I mean, I, I, I would have understood if you'd wanted, for instance, uh, circumcision. <laughs> Keep your pecker up. <laughs> hey, doctor, this meat here is as tough as boots. This meat. <laughs> Let's have a good look at this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but this meat is very tender. Yeah, well, it ought to be. I've been chewing it for half an hour. <laughs> well, uh, bon appetit. This is Mr. Brown. Good morning. It's a bit complicated. He's got German measles with chicken pox. <laughs> and this is Mr. Pearson, doctor. He is suffering from back problems. Oh, dear. Hello, Mr. Pearson. Well, why don't I make you more comfortable? I don't know. Why don't you? 
Давайте. A liver. A liver, yes. Yeah, I've got one here. Uh, you can have it cheap. It belongs to an alcoholic. No, I'll send it straight over. Right. Oh, hello, Amsterdam. What, you ordered 144 posteriors? 144? That's gross. Uh, yes, here we are, 144 butts. We seem to be a little behind on that order. Uh, I'll get to the bottom of it. Goodbye. What on earth are they going to do with them? Probably parking bicycles. Bye. <laughs> 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 oh, a good mood. Read all about it! Read all about it! Indian Raj are feeling crappy! Just arrived at St. Jeopardy's Hospital! Hello, uh, Your Highness. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Hi oh, sorry. Hello, Your Highness. Hello, this is Nasvetio. His Highness, Nasvetio. Hello. 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 <laughs> uh, yes, now what seems to be the problem? Uh, well, I, I am feeling very poorly, Doctor. Oh. Why didn't I examine you? I, I give up, I don't you? Strange, I suddenly feel like a curry. <laughs> right, this won't hurt. Say, ah. Uh. Ah? Uh. I'm sorry, this I need the stronger stethoscope. Say ah. Uh. Ah? Uh. Good, that's stronger, good, fine. Say e. E. Say uh, porcupine. Porcupine. Uh, say mergle, fergle, kurgle. Mergle, fergle, kurgle. Say whoops, ducky. Whoops, ducky. Say it again, whoops, ducky. Whoops, ducky. And once more, whoops, whoops, whoops ducky. ducky. And now say Ruritania. 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 I can't. As I suspected. How long has this been going on? I don't know. Weeks? Months? Years? No, wait. It started yesterday. Your Highness, tell me if this hurts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ow! Right. And tell me if this hurts. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Fine. Ow! And how about this? Oh, good, yes. Good. Good, very good. I'm sorry, Your Highness, but you'll have to have an operation. Doctor. Yes. Is it all right if I get a second opinion? Of course, old man. I'll give you one tomorrow. And this is Mr. Hercules. He completely recovered and he's going home today. Oh, really? Well, well done, Mr. Hercules. Ah! Oh, sorry, Hank. Well, there's no need to shout. Bear falls out of hospital window! We know about it! Hello, Vicky. Long time no see. You? How is life, Nurse Victoria Virtue? Or should I call you ex comrade Rodica Ceausescu? I told you I don't ever want to see you again. All I need is your help in stealing a few misery kilos of hospital drugs for me. No. 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 Come, it's not as bad as that. No, the music is too loud. Thank you. I will call the police. Then I'll have to tell the hospital authorities all about your naughty, naughty, naughty past. <laughs> you, you loathsome fiend. Here's a modest list of all my requirements. Don't worry. I will be back. Ciao, 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 Cesco. I will be back. Ciao, ciao, ciao. I'm sick of your blackmail. Oh! One, two, one, two. Uh, Doctor, emergency. Doctor, hello, emergency. Doctor Jim Love to the operating theater. Doctor Jim Love to the operating theater. Urgent. No, that's what seems to be the problem. It's the Raja of Hardy Party. He suddenly collapsed. Oh, yes. Well, I was afraid this might happen. I'm sorry, Your Highness, but we're going to have to operate. Oh, Doctor, after the operation, will I be able to play the sitar? Yes, of course, Your Highness. Oh, wonderful! I never played one before, you know. Quick, nurse, oxygen! I am nurse virtue, don't you remember? No, nurse, comma, oxygen, full stop, okay, question mark. Ah, oh, oxygen. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Good stuff. Yes, better give him some as well. Yeah. Dr. Goodclean, is the patient under? <clears throat> oh, um, <clears throat> yes, Dr. Love. Right, prepare the patient for surgery. 
Das, pass me the, um, uh, the, you know, oh, blast, it's on the tip of my tongue. <gasps> it's, uh, wait a minute, it's used, it's sharp, it's used for operation. It's sharp, it's used for cutting, you know. Uh, um, scissors. No. Uh, bread knife. A chainsaw. Chain, no, 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 it begins with a W. Well, is it a book or a play? I don't know. How many syllables does uh, it have? Uh, 15, I think. I know, I know, I know. How to succeed in business without only trying. No. You mean scalpel, silly. <laughs> scalpel. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <clears throat> right, <clears throat> prepare the prodigals. <coughs> it's inside, we'll get it out afterwards, okay? Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh no! I'll have to grapple his nerdules! <gasps> Have you like my nerves? Good doctor, such an operation has never been performed in the history of medicine. Doctor Frankel, you forget that I am the greatest surgeon in the world. God, I love him. I don't. We're just good friends. I hardly know him. Ah, suction. Suction. Uh, it's bypass. Bypass. <laughs> doctor, what are you doing? I will have no part of this. This is totally unorthodox. Oscillator! Oscillator! I'm sorry, nurse. It's the only way to save his life. What has saving his life got to do with anything? Can't you see that what you're doing is? It's alternative medicine. It, it'll be in all the newspapers. It'll oh, be doctor, like yes, I've lost his pulse. When did you last have it? Just a minute ago. Don't worry, it can't have got far. At last! I need a medical dictionary, quick! Medical dictionary! Ha! Call yourself a surgeon. All right, thank you. I'm a surgeon. Right. Ah, that's better now I can see. Oh, doctor, look out! No, I'm doctor, I'm doctor Jim Lowe, don't you remember? Uh, no, doctor, come on, look out, exclamation mark! What? The grapulation is not working! This program was recorded in front of a dead studio audience.